So did you know the S variant also has the remote start? Ah, oh, there you go! Oh, whoa! What's this? I'm just talking and you're... If you're still watching, what the frick are you doing with your life? Okay, so today we'll be reviewing the all-new Honda BRV. So this is the S variant CVT and let's check it out. So it's a seven seater. It le looks less like an MPV now. Ayan. So it's kind of crossover y with the MPV functionality. So yeah super luwag inside Ooh. then look at your third row pretty ample and you have a really really big trunk -aroo. big trunk aperture and here's the stuff it's pretty cute look at the taillight design red eye bugs cute <laughs> it's a big small car i like it and this is what the front looks like. Chinning. Uh, ah, all right. So this is an L15. So from soft, the BRB now has a double overhead cam. Oh, is this a vacuum line, not hose? That's cool. And it looks so spacious, so easy to work on. I like that. So I like that the vacuum line is a hard line, not a hose. And look, it's such a cute battery, hand for scale. Cute battery. And look, foil pack na siya. Oy, ang cute ng intake manifold. So it goes from here, then it goes up, and then goes down to the engine. That's interesting. The alternator and the compressor in, in front. So there's nothing there, silicon. So belt maintenance for these will be super easy. Overall, the engine bay looks really spacious. It looks super easy to work on. Everything is within reach. And ayun, it looks DIY friendly actually with the amount of space that you have. Oh, and look, look, the shock mount looks really beefy. And it looks like there's a lot of suspension travel also. Philippine road spec, nice. Also, I noticed ang taas ng ECU oh, oh, here, from here oh, to here. So, less ka ba pag binaba. And I also like how the sockets lock into place. So, that's super nice. Wait lang, I feel like we got a little too technical sa engine bay. And then I realized na wala kasing cover, not like other modern cars. Everything is easy to see. So since nakikita ko siya, nare-review ko siya, eh yung iba wala tayong makita, di wala rin tayong masabi. So yeah, that was a mouthful. Okay, so moving on inside. So did you know the S variant also has the remote start? So all you have to do is click the lock. And click hold for five seconds. Ah, oh, there you go. So the car is on, na diba? So the aircon is also on the rain. So it's pretty useful for hot days like this. Now, before getting in the car, it's cool already. Okay, so the S variant doesn't have the touch lock thing, so you have to unlock it manually. Yan. Oh, lamig na o okay to. Oh, look at the wind blowing my hair. So, ayan, push button na rin siya. So, that's really nice. And th again, this is the S variant. We have analog gauges over here, and the steering wheel controls are just for call. And look at that. That's so nice. Look at the buttons. So, for the sockets or the power stuff, it's over here. It's flip up covers. Ayan, I don't think everyone's gonna like it, but it's nice. Protects the stuff from dust, so that's pretty good. So this is the center, pretty spacious, and it has a, an actual handbrake, so I super appreciate that. This is your armrest, and it's pretty deep then, ayan. And for seat adjustment, we have the front and back, the classic pull-up there, and these guys for the tilt. Recline and our controls over here. We have our 
mirror adjustment ayan here. oh we have our tc button here there you see it gas tank release and hood release all right okay going to the rear naman so that's my normal seating position and ugh. there it's pretty maluwag and there's actually adjustment so you can move backwards so you can also do that for the other side uh, there you go and the headroom is quite ample oh wow that's a lot that's a lot yeah that's pretty ample headroom here we have our air vents. quite easy to operate enough for the people at the back uh, let's check out the third row. Okay, so Mia Symmetric, I'll sit in the third row to see how a full sized adult would fit. Okay, I'm in, I'm in. Headroom wise, yeah, still sharper maluwag. Okay, let's fold it. Oh, that locks so chonkily. So, with the middle row max to the back, my legs are, are clearing it by. A bit. So with the middle seat max forward, this is the space. So you can compare it. This is the space difference. So we have a cup holder here, another cup holder there. And if we move a little backwards, this is the trunk already. So we can reach stuff easily. Okay, so with my one hand recording, let's try to get out. Alright, that was easy. And egg is super easy because it's luwag. And just like that, they're out. All right. And let's just fold it. Yeah, that's pretty good. The controls for folding stuff is super easy to reach. And I can be holding things while getting in and out of the car, and it's fine. The design is very human. Okay, as for the trunk. Okay, there we go. So, it's ample space. This is how we fold it, just like the front. Push it. Wait. There. Sorry. Okay, so let's fold them. This is me with recording with one hand. So, see? Super convenient. And look at this. There's this pull tab. So, we just have to pull it to lock it back into place. The design is very human. So, no need to go inside to reach for it when you have this pull tab which velcros also so i'm gonna sit inside me symmetric to see how much space we have in the trunk okay sitting inside sitting inside oh i still have headroom you know what for the seven seater thing if safety is not an issue get to look at mas maluwag wala luggage hashtag road safety editor cut mo na lang yun kasi bawal all right Oh, oh, wait, wait a minute. Where's the spare tire? Oh, there. Cool. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it for me. Let's take it out for a spin. Okay, hindi spin out ta. Chaotic driving time! Let's go! Okay, so now for the driving impressions. So we're in Honda Santa Rosa and we're about to head to the test track to get better driving impressions for the all-new BRV. <laughs> so first of all, for ergonomics, the seating is very Honda. Um, mobilis mahanap yung seating position mo. So it's manual, manual uh, front and back adjust, and then manual recline. So the steering is tilt only. So there's no telescopic. Wait, uh, there. So for me, you don't really need the telescopic. The reach to the wheel is perfect as it is. It's actually really nice. Pew. Wow, cornering very good. <laughs> as for the steering, I'm happy to report it's amply weighted. It's not dead. Ah. Uh. It gives the driver a lot of feedback, which I wasn't expecting because it's a seven-seater utility car, which I was expecting that it would be overly assisted. 
So the steering is just shy above three turns lock to lock. Oi, <laughs> okay. And the turn radius is surprisingly tight for a car this long. Oh, de ba? Ah, pretty good. So as for the power and the brakes, it's adequate. At least right now, when it's not fully loaded, hindi naman nakakabitan yung power. So the brakes are what you'd expect from a modern car, so no complaints here. Actually, later, let's try to load it up with more people and let's test it again. As for the transmission, it's a CVT transmission. And it's quite a responsive CVT transmission. Hindi ka madadahado fighting for position in EDSA. Okay, so pretend we're in traffic. My right hand's the gas and see how quickly it responds. Oh, it's pretty good. Ayun lang, the downside, wala siyang plus minus. So, it's just sports and low. But again, you didn't buy a sports car, so that's okay. Oh, wow, what's this? Honda has a big incline on their test track. Is this to simulate Baguio? Sige nga. Okay, let's check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Turn radius, so good. Okay. Lego. Oh, wow, it's quite steep. Oh, there we go. It's gonna make it up Baguio for sure. Oh, oh, hello. <laughs> okay. Ah! <laughs> pwede, pwede. So for suspension, man, let's go through the speed bumps over there and the rocky surface. So let's try it out. Hump, hump, hump. It's not. It's handling it very well. It's comfy. Okay, we're appro approaching the rocky surface or pebbly surface. Pretty good. So the suspension is on the stiffer side, which I personally prefer because it doesn't wallow on the bumps. Because I'm hilo ko if it's too soft. Eh. The shocks are doing a good job damping the spring. And it being on the stiffer side actually makes sense since it's a seven-seater. So you need the extra spring for all that extra weight also. So one of the most surprising things about this drive, or this test drive, is that me as a driving enthusiast, I'm actually enjoying this drive. Legit fun! Now, I wasn't expecting that because it's a utility vehicle or utility car. And usually they're not fun to drive, but this is. The overall package of this car is very enjoyable to drive. The Honda fun to drive DNA is very much here in this car. The B and B R V is very fun to drive. <laughs> Doing family errands need not be a boring chore. Parang pwede siyang islalom. So this is definitely one seven seater that a driving enthusiast can definitely appreciate. Okay, so acceleration test with four people. So two in front, also in the back. Ayan. Okay, so that's your full throttle with four people. Still pretty good. Still apple. Ayan yun. Mahaka akit sa bagay yung bocha. Tubay yung taste. 
So, ito na. We're a family of four going up Baguio. <laughs> Baguio Santa Rosa. That's pretty good. Okay, so it's gonna make it up Baguio. Ayan. Confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, medyo kulang tayo sa features kasi we fo fo focused <laughs> kasi we focused on the driving. So, modern features is also here. They're over there. You can check out their channel for their review. Kasi they're currently reviewing the V variant and we did the S variant. So, for more features, check that one out. Okay, so that's it for the episode so this is the all new honda brv i hope you guys you enjoyed that video so if you enjoyed it like subscribe comment and maybe share so yeah yun lang <coughs> holy moly chicken cannoli i actually like the seven seater car wow birds Fly up in the sky like a bee or bee.